Hello, Mr. Owl. Is it time to party? Hey, it's Andrew from Park Rovers, and we're at Fun Spot America in Atlanta. Technically, we are in Fayetteville, Georgia, just south of the city of Atlanta. So while we're here, I figured we'd do a little park tour. Let's go. Parking here is five bucks, but they give you a fun e-card, which you can use toward the purchase of your ticket or for food. Speaking of tickets, they have season passes, including the ultimate season pass, which includes the Florida fun spots. Probably the most popular option is the fun pass, which is a single day pass for unlimited rides on whatever you want. One cool thing is they also have single ride tickets available. So we're through security. Let's check out some of the rides around here right at the entrance. One of the first things you'll notice when you walk in is the Sea Serpent Kitty Coaster. Also, when you walk in, you'll see the spider. You can actually see this one from the parking lot. This ride is very slow to load because I need to lower each arm to board each set of two cars. I just noticed this area next to the spider. Is this a, like a chicken run? Interesting. And back to the spider. The spider in action. It gets pretty aggressive. Really, you can really spin around on these things. Wow, look at them go. <laughs> okay, let's check out the rest of the rides here on the left side of the entrance. Here is the fun slide. This is currently not operational. I assume it's a mat racing slide. Through these palmettos, you will find the hurricane. The Hurricane is a steel ENF high miler. Here's the drop. I actually posted a full on-ride POV a couple of years ago, so you can check that out. Over here by Hurricane is the Paratrooper. This is another one that's slow to load. While we wait for the paratrooper, here is the scrambler. Classic flat rod. And here it is, the paratrooper. It's like a Ferris wheel that spins very fast on an axis. And right next to the scrambler is Riptide music express type attraction. So all of those rides are right on the left, right when you walk in. Now let's check out the attractions on the right side past the entrance. And there's a carousel right on the right when you walk in and it's full of three rows of jumpers as well as a couple of sleds it looks like. Next to the carousel is a flat ride called Swing Around miniature swings for the little ones. If you're here for a party or a group event, just go between these two owls to check in at this building here. It's interesting they have a, a dock out there and a water feature in the center. I'm walking up the hill to the rest of the park and I noticed that there is space for like a banner or something, but they are not displaying anything at the moment. Right across the way from the party check-in is a covered party area. This is pretty nice. You got some picnic tables there. This top area is kind of funny. It kind of feels like a county fair or state fair. 
So now let's check out the attractions here on the left side by the picnic area. The first thing I noticed over here is a monster truck named Samson. It's got a fist there and it says Dan Patrick in the window. I assume that's the owner or driver. You can read a little bit about. It's a 2006 Chevy Silverado. Yeah, owner slash driver Dan Patrick from Circleville, Ohio. Samson 4x4.com. This is cool. Here's the front of Samson, the two fists. This is a giant truck. Fun spot, of course, kind of has red, white, and blue American branding. This is probably the most American themed tilt a whirl in existence. Right near the tilt a whirl is the Screaming Eagles, another flat ride. I like that they surrounded the attraction with some planters. I think those are fake plants, though. And to the side of Screaming Eagles, they kind of have a maintenance area, even under this tower here, which I assume is a zip line. So you probably used to be able to, maybe in the future, you can climb the tower and get on the zip line. Right by the Screaming Eagles and the tower is the entrance to the monster track, the Samson monster track. It goes hurricane back there. So this is pretty cool, a multi-level go-kart course. And that go-kart course was kind of the star attraction here before they put in Air Force One. I really like walking by the maintenance area here. You have some uh, cars here, that's pretty cool. So now we're back here in the lot over by Samson. And on the left here, you kind of have some carnival food and games, you have Dippin' Dots, uh, some funnel cake. You've got some hanging bars and a squirt gun race game. This looks really good, the Clucky Chicken Coop, where you can get chicken wings, chicken tenders, and a chicken sandwich. And right next to it is the pretzel truck, Honey Hands. On the right side is the diner, and it has a Western theme on the outside here. So I think I'm gonna pop into the diner, maybe get a drink and check out what's inside. It's interesting that there are still handicap signs right out front of this building, but they're clearly not using this as a parking lot, except for the food trucks. So this is interesting. They kind of have funhouse mirrors inside and a bumper car, indoor bumper cars. And it looks like you can kind of get typical theme park food, corn dogs, nachos, cheeseburgers, pizza, hot dogs. Ooh, party room. And mission accomplished. We got the Island Coastal Lager from Island Brands USA out of Charleston, South Carolina. This beer has an average rating of 3.47 out of 5. And they gave me the souvenir glass. I think I paid a little extra for this. So we're going to check out the rest of this building here. The bumper cars are in action. And you've got the Arcade. Ooh, here's the funhouse mirror. <laughs> oh man, look at how big I am. Or, <laughs> very tall. I'm even taller. Look at these lights up here. Wow, this place is interesting. Got some air hockey here. Oh, I love this. This is a shootout soccer kind of game 
And you got a photo booth, some different games here, ribbit racing. Lots of ice ball. Oh no, the drink station's down. Oh, it's actually more extensive than I thought back here. Space Invaders. Jurassic Park. And the big bass wheel. It's a lot of different games back here. Maximum force. Deal or no deal. Star Wars Trilogy Arcade Beanbag Toss. Hmm. And you got Hoop Fever. And a little stage here. This is interesting. It's got the Air Force One banner right there. Sink it. And the whack. Whack and win. And a row of classic arcade games. You got Mrs. Pac-Man, NBA Jam. Look at the dinosaur behind Lost World. Great theming. RMC banner for Air Force. Oh, there's more restrooms back here too. Huh. Check out the artwork over here. Wish I could go inside the Dixieland Diner room. It looks pretty fun in there. They got, they got palm trees. And we went outside that door and we are in the land of more flat rides. There's a actually a screaming swing here. This is just like the one I rode at Glenwood Caverns, but it's not on the side of a mountain. Looks like there's a few more little kitty rides here and a little drop tower called Scream Machine. There goes the Scream Machine. And right next to it is another drop tower, a very smaller drop tower called Frog Hopper. There goes the Frog Hopper. And this ride here is called Banana Squadron. Look at the banana cars. <laughs> Wild. Watching the swing go again. I love these things. I feel like you definitely need to be like overlooking something. Can't be that exciting looking at the ground, but still a fun ride here. Okay, we're back by Auntie Anne's now, and there's just a few more rides to check out. Right behind Auntie Anne's and the clucky food truck are these bumper boats. I like the pink elephants in the center there. Just a couple of more rides to show y'all. Now we're right next to Airy Force One, the new RMC coaster. Right next to the bumper boats is Space Junk, where you can buy some merchandise. We'll be visiting that in a minute. Next to the merch are the go-karts. You have the Victory Lap, which is kind of like a smaller go-kart track. And you have the bigger one called Roadrunner, the Speed Course. Right by the go-karts is this very nice Ferris wheel. And I saved the best for last. Right across from the go-karts and the Ferris wheel is Airy Force One. Airy Force One is an RMC steel coaster with an I-Box track. The coaster features four inversions, has a chain, a lift hill, a dive loop, a zero-g stall, an outward banked airtime hill, a zero-g roll, and a barrel roll. Also, a quad down right here at the end. I 
as you enter the attraction, there is a test seat right here, a little photo op. And there it goes up the lift hill. It's actually a pretty noisy lift hill, but it's worth it. If you're looking for the batting cages, you actually have to enter Airy Force One, but the uh, batting cages aren't open at the moment. I wonder if they're going to build another entrance to the batting cages, because currently you'd have to go into Airy Force One and go through here. Interesting. And the building back there is where you'd get your bat and maybe a Gatorade. So I rode Airy Force One a few times and this coaster is amazing and there's no wait for it. I actually walked, basically walked right on the coaster three times. This might be my favorite coaster in the entire state of Georgia now. I will say I loved everything except for the quad down here and the only reason I don't like the quad down is because I'm tall and those restraints don't work for my thighs. So this was a very painful end. And now let's check out Space Junk here, right across from Airy Force One. And you've got t-shirts back here. You've got the one in red is $14.99. You have a hat for $24.99. Little water bottle for $19.99. And uh, looks like uh, another t-shirt there for $19.99. Also some smaller items. You know, bucket hat there. I like that they have astronaut ice cream. So that just about does it here from Fun Spot in Atlanta, technically Fayetteville, Georgia. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Park Rovers, and we'll see you next time. Good night, Fun Spot, and good night, Samson. Good night party building. Good night, Owl. See you again soon.